Hey Twalls, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited to share with you guys one of my newest prototypes in my collection. This is a 3D printed Monster High prototype head. 3D printing is used in the early stages of doll creation and this process is only used for dolls who are of a new sculpt. So the whole idea is that they're designing an entirely new sculpt and that's why it's in 3D and the material of the head is different. This is a lot harder. Yeah, it's a lot harder than your typical Monster High vinyl head that's really squishy. So who would this new sculpt go to? Garrett Sander, the creator of Monster High, was unable to recall if this was meant to be a Sirena Von Boo head or if this was a cancelled, unreleased character from the Great Scarrier Reef line. He did say that Serena went through a lot of changes before she finally got to her final design. After 3D printing this head, the designers or designer at Mattel, I'm not too sure how many people worked on this, hand painted this. She's not in perfect condition, but that's kind of to be expected with these things. Resin is a lot more brittle compared to vinyl and more prone to breaking off, and hand painted stuff is way more prone to chipping off than factory paint. Full disclosure, I did do very minute restorations on her, only patching up white paint that chipped off her neck hole, ears, and some dark brown paint that rubbed off the very tips of her first three prongs of eyebrow thingies. That's why you may see that her eyebrows are more of a true black rather than her original very dark brown. Everything else that you see is hand painted by Mattel designers. I'll give you guys an all-around look before we delve into the differences between what might be her final doll as well as turning her into a fully-fledged doll. At the front end of her eyebrows, you can see little tiny sketch lines made by the artist. One of the most exciting features about this head is her sculpted eyebrows and cheek ridges. These are beautifully raised and detailed. Resin prototypes have a difference between their scalp and their face to accommodate for wigs. This is because you can't root resin just like in BJD's. So this side of her ear did arrive chipped. She's supposed to have four or three little prongs over here, but here's her other side, and this is what it's supposed to look like. And as you can see, she did come with some chips and a little roughed up, but honestly, I don't care. I just wanted to restore her a little bit, and I don't know where that red paint comes from but it might be from the blush, who knows. I know this one up here is my fault, this tiny splodge of purple because I dyed her wig purple, which you'll see in a little bit. And um, yeah, honestly, I'm not too happy with the wig, but more on that later. The prototype has a different face shape compared to the stock doll. She also has a more squared off chin instead of a rounded one. Speaking of her chin, on the underside, I did notice that there's an ever so slight divot it's very shallow and slight, but it is there. Her lips are a gorgeously rich blue compared to the safer, cooler pink that we get in the final doll. Her lips are also a slightly different shape, less puckered with the end lines showing. Like I said before, this could be an unreleased character from the Great Scary Reef line, but she does seem to share a couple traits that are a little bit similar to Serena Von Boo. For example, her eyebrows seem to be a different iteration of her thin eyebrows, and her eyeshadow and blush seem to have made its way into Serena's outer eyeshadow. I'm not gonna bore you to death with all the differences like the number of eyelashes she has, so if you'd like, feel free to pause the video and see how many differences you can spot. The last salient difference I want to point out is that her nose is a lot wider and rounder than the final doll. I think it would have been so cool if we had this nose because we don't really get a lot of noses that look like this in Monster High G1. The amazing Monster High Prototypes Instagram page uploaded these photos of a confirmed Sirena Von Boo 3D printed prototype head. It clearly resembles Sirena's final doll. The bubbles, the makeup, the face up, the general face shape, everything. Depending how you look at it, you could say that this looks absolutely nothing like the prototype they were talking about, or you could say it's a bridge between this and the final doll. So I don't have a lot of footage of me customizing the doll, but this is the base doll I used. 
and say thank you everyone because this is the model I used for the comparison pictures earlier. I cannot reiterate enough that this may have been a great scary reef doll that wasn't released or a Sarina von Buhead just so everyone is clear but for the sake of customizing I'm using Sarina von Bu because obviously we didn't get the possible unreleased doll so and I'm hoping the comparisons help you guys form your own theories. Anyway, back to customizing. One of the first things I had to do was shave down this damn neck bag. For the record, all I had was a nail file and sheer determination. I bought this wig for her, but it was too white and I thought it looked a little jarring on her. So I decided to carefully dye it purple just to the shade that I wanted. And here's the final doll! I'll attach pictures of her after this so you guys can have a closer look at all the details and things like that. I am pretty happy with everything. I love her tail. I love the flashes of blue and how creamy it looks and the contrast and everything. I think it really does justice to the sculpt. I changed it to fit the overall color scheme and bring out the ridges and everything and at the same time I kept the ombre effect I did do some body blushing things here and there even to her tummy to bring out the little sculpt details there she doesn't have a ton of really significant detail on her this section I think the skirt is a lot cooler so I chromed that out and then she's got you know a double layer of chains coming down instead of her stringy things and then i did the little ombre thing on her hands and her arms as well as her back fin and then more body things i love this top that i designed and sewed i thought it kind of fit the wavy whooshy motif overall you know her being part mermaid and all and then the chains in middle are, you know, because she's also half ghost. The only thing I'm not really happy about is the wig. I purchased this wig off of Etsy because I thought it would save me time and effort, but I don't know, I might have to make a wig myself. The wig itself is not bad, it's pretty decent quality, and I paid a pretty penny for it. Um, I'm happy that the pigtail sections are like sewn instead of with rubber bands because those things rot and I just don't want to deal with that. The hair is soft and fluffy. I was able to recurl them. I used a hot iron, a pencil, and some hair balm. So her hair isn't waxy or anything, but it holds the curls really well. When I dyed the wig, this stuff got really dark throughout her wig and I think that's glue the wig maker used so that's why it's coming out way darker but that's okay I'm not too mad at that what I don't really like is the fit of it because it's so poofy like it's way up here ideally like in somewhere there but I can kind of live with that but that coupled with the fact that it's obscuring one of her best features which is her amazing eyebrows it used to obscure it even more like in order to secure the wig I had to push it down further and that kind of sucked because it also covered up the ears. What I did to show more of the eyebrows and have the ears out was I split the back just ever so slightly so it had a bit more give. The only thing I can do is make a new wig for her probably but I don't think I'm doing that anytime soon. I will probably update you guys on Instagram or something if I do do that just so you guys can see. I get the feeling that making a secure wig for her is going to be a little tough because she has a little less area to work with since she has that ridge and I don't want the wig to come over her eyebrows but at the same time it's the same curvature so theoretically I think it'd be harder for it to latch on I think it's going to be a little tough finding a super secure wig for her off the market, off the rack kind of thing because this isn't really a standard sized monster high head again because of the ridge I hope you guys found this interesting. This was a really fun project for me. I love this doll. I just need to figure something out for her wig. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey and exploring the world of Monster High prototypes as well as customizing. I'd love to know if you guys think that this is the scrapped Great Scarier Reef character or if this was indeed an early Sirena Von Boo design. Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.